Hi everybody, my name is Rick and I was an active alcoholic for almost 30 years and I smoked for even longer than that. Uh, of course I had to quit drinking before I could quit smoking because, um, well obviously if you go without a cigarette for a while and then you go get drunk, you're going to have to end up smoking anyway. So. But I came up with this way of uh, helping me to quit smoking and drinking both. Um, a couple of doctors have asked me about it, and I told them about it, and they were a little leery because um, they were afraid their patients would look at it as too threatening or too grotesque or whatever. But, you know, if you're going to quit smoking and drinking, you got to be brutally honest with yourself. And I came up with a way of being brutally honest with myself and making myself make choices. Um, now, obviously, I haven't drank or smoked in, in several years now, but um, so apparently it worked. Um, but what it was was you give yourself three choices. Okay, take smoking for example. If you want to quit smoking you, and you haven't had a cigarette in say five hours, you got to make a choice. When you pick up that cigarette, you got to make a choice that you're going to relive that five hours over again. Because you're going to have to live through that five, you quit smoking again in 15 minutes or you know two minutes after you get, put that cigarette out you got to relive that time, that discomfort. And nobody wants to do that. All right? So that's choice number one. Choice number two is not to quit smoking and quite probably die a long, lingering death. Most people do that smoke. Or choice number three is to put it back down and not smoke at all. The same thing can happen with uh, drinking. You can have the same, use the same concept. Um, it actually works pretty good. And, uh, you know, the, I, the thing that worked for me with it was I got sick and tired. I know it's an old adage, but I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I got sick and tired of making those choices. And after a while, it will get to a point, at least it did for me, that it was more difficult for me to make that choice again than it was just to put the stupid thing down. And like I say, it works. So, uh, one other thing is I have a video on this same YouTube channel. Uh, it's what I call a scrolling video. Uh, what I did was I wrote out what I had learned about addiction, uh, in this case, alcohol addiction, and I put it on a video, a scrolling video that will scroll upwards very slowly so you can read it, and put it on YouTube. And the reason I did that was in that way, a lot of people are afraid to go to a website they're not familiar with due to viruses and all of that stuff, and you know, they think there's always going to be a scam and they're going to try to sell you something, what have you. But uh, this is just a video on YouTube, so you don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. It moves very slowly, so it's easily read. And it's what I learned about addiction. And I got most of it from a book that was called um, Under the Influence. And it was written by a couple of doctors. And um, it, it's... The, the, the whole way I found out about it is when I was in drug counseling, my counselor uh, brought it to me and uh, told me that I could find my answers that way because she wasn't giving me any answers. I was going to drug counseling and all I would get out of the counseling sessions was that I have a right to feel the way I do and I shouldn't feel bad about feeling the way I do. You know, the world basically sucks and, you know, all of this stuff and you just got to learn to live with it and all that stuff. And I'm like, you know, I, I don't think that's a problem. And I asked her, 
Finally, I asked her flat out. I said, look, what happens? I take a drink. I got this drink in my hand. I put it to my mouth. I drink it. I swallow it. What happens after that? And she finally had to admit that, well, she didn't know. They didn't teach him that part. And uh, that's when, you know, I got kind of mad about the whole thing. And she brought me the book. It was called Under the Influence. Um, I wrote about it on the on the writing and it's also got the doctor's names and everything so if you want to go take a look at that uh, I strongly advise it it will teach you a lot about what physically happens and why some people become alcoholics and some people don't it's uh, it's really fascinating to write so go over and check it out and I hope this helps you guys okay thanks